G'day, it's Grant here for Go RV. Today, we're going to show you two methods of how we go about assembling the Anderson plug using a few hand tools from out of our shed. So let's get on with it. Okay, so I've got my cable. I've terminated it for the length we need. And I've got a, a cover here. I'm just going to pop that on. And I'll explain a little bit more about that a little bit later. So that's in on out of the way. I've got here a genuine Anderson plug. You know that due to the label where it's uh, recorded as Anderson Power Products. Now, we're going to put that onto there. But to do that beforehand, we've got to fit these contactors. These contactors will go on and then the Anderson plug slides over the top. So to connect one of these, we the first method we're going to use is the soldering technique. So to do that, I'll terminate the wire and then we'll get ready for it. When it comes to terminating a wire, I could use a knife or some side cutters. I'm fortunate enough to have some wire strippers. So I'm just going to put that where it needs to be. Pull it out. Pull that off and that wire is ready to go. So with the wire now terminated, I folded it over itself just to make it a little bit wider so that when I slide it in, it's a little bit firm fit. Now, the next technique we're doing is flooded solder. So I've got some solder and I've got myself a butane uh, gun. So we've got a bit of, bit of heat. What we're gonna do is slowly fill this well up with solder until it's nice and liquid. So I'm just going in. I'm using the vise because I'm by myself, but you know, if you have a someone else working with you with a pair of vice strips, that would do the job as well. Okay, I've got a fair bit of solder in there now. Got to pick up the wire. In it goes, just hold it there. Till it all goes off. Bit of a blow. And that's quite firm there now. Take it out of the vice bit hot to touch at the moment but there we go that's a terminal that that has been attached using the flooded soldered technique the next one we're going to do is we're going to use a crimping technique now we've just completed the solder technique now some people might suggest that the solder technique isn't the perfect result and the reason being there's no mechanical holding point on it meaning that you pull that it's not only as good as what the solder is. The second technique we're going to use is a crimping technique, which mechanically is going to squeeze the clip over the cable. So let's get on with it. Now, you might not have the right tools to do that. So I had a look in my shed, and in the past, I've done it this particular way. Get that on the right spot. See what I mean by lined up? They're both facing the same direction. just gently squeeze it closed. There's one. There's two. So I've crimped it. There. And you can see it is very tight. Two different types of solder versus a crimping using some bolt cutters. Okay, before we put on the heat shrink, I just want to show you another technique that you can use. Now, we use these to do the crimping, but if you're going to do a lot of work when it comes to electrical, you might want to get yourself a decent pair of crimpers. The crimpers result gives you a very positive finish. I just want to show you what we get here with it. See how they're, they're nice and deep, firm and in position. And the crimpers can be used for all types of different cabling and wires. So if you're like me, like wanting to do a lot of electrical work, I'd advise you to get some crimpers for your next job. So I've cut a couple of pieces of shrink wrap, red for positive, black for negative. It's important that you don't go past this point because this is the point that's gonna fit inside the Anderson plug. So I'll just apply a bit of heat and that should shrink over it. The beauty of shrink wrap, it just gives you a nice 
finish that helps in keeping everything sealed up, dust proof. You could use a blowtorch, but if you're out in the bush, you've got to improvise, so I'm just using a lighter. Oh, the wind's here a bit. They don't allow me to get it quite as shrinking as I would like, but I'm sure that's done. So that, as you can see, is now sealed. No, no wires are exposed. The next job we've got to do is now put that inside the Anderson plate. Okay, with the wiring bit done, we're ready to go. We've got our Anderson plug. I just want to show you inside the Anderson plug, a couple of stainless steel spring clips. Now, what we're going to do is we want to get these in over those spring clips. And once they're in place, you're not going to remove them. You can have a little trouble initially getting them in because you, you do got a base. It is quite a tight fitting, but, but here, let's have a go. So we'll line them up, positive, negative. There's the negative going in. There's the positive now in. They are now in and not going anywhere. If I give that a tug, see, that won't come out. And to finish it all off, to make it nice and neat, that little plastic cover I showed you when I first put it on, we'll just push that into place. Once that's in, that won't come off either. And that's our Anderson plug, finished, ready to go. Whether you're gonna to wanna to leave for maybe a solar panel or a fridge or a compressor, making your own Anderson plug is very rewarding and you never know, one day out in the bush, you might just have to make one, keep the electrics working.